While Excel's subtotal feature can be a great way of summarizing data and creating drill down reports, you are limited to using one of the tool's 11 summarizing functions, including average, count, maximum value, minimum value, sum, variance, and variance of a population. Suppose you find yourself, though, in a situation where you would like to use subtotal, but the calculation you require, calculating a median, for example, is not one of the 11 available calculations in subtotal. In this tip, you will learn how you can use just a little bit of trickery to persuade subtotal to work exactly the way you want it to. To begin, execute subtotal as you normally would. In the example that you currently see on the screen, we would like to see the median number of engagement hours, that is, the data in column E, summarized by sector. That means that we first need to sort our data by sector, and to do that, from the Data tab of the ribbon, we will just simply sort in lowest to highest order. Now with the data sorted properly, again from the Data tab of the ribbon, let's execute subtotal as we normally would. Choosing the subtotal icon from the Data tab of the ribbon, I will indicate that I would like to see my data summarized at every change in sector, and even though I really want to see a median calculation, since median is not available from the drop-down list, I will go ahead and choose the sum function, and I will choose to see a sum of engagement hours at every change in sector. Clicking OK provides me a very traditional subtotal function. Now for the trickery. With our initial report complete, from the Home tab of the ribbon in Excel, let's choose Find and Select and let's choose the replace function. And when we choose replace, we are going to indicate that we want to replace all of the formulas that begin with subtotal parentheses nine comma. We will replace those formulas with a formula that says equals median and open parentheses. Now before we actually execute that command, looking at one of the existing formulas would be in order. When we used subtotal to generate a sum, Excel inserted a subtotal 9 function into the worksheet, and in the formula that we're currently examining, it summed that data based on cells E2 through E8. When we choose to replace the subtotal 9 function with the median function, very importantly see that we are going to leave the E2 through E8 cell references in place. So again, returning to Find and Select, Replace, we will simply click the Replace All function to replace all instances of subtotal 9 with median in this worksheet. Upon doing so, we find that 24 replacements were made. And in fact, closing the Find and Replace dialog box now, and double-clicking on the formula that we were examining a moment ago, indicates that now a median calculation is being performed on cells E2 through E8. Likewise, scrolling down in the worksheet, for asset management, the median function is being performed on cells E2 through E19. For automotive, the median function is being performed on cells E21 through E23. And if we were to continue scrolling down the worksheet, we would see similar calculations all the way down this list of data. Excel's subtotal feature is a favorite of many business professionals. However, by default, if you choose to use this feature, Excel limits you to one of 11 predefined actions. With just a little bit of trickery, though, you can manipulate subtotal and make it an even more powerful feature than what it already is. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.